Oh, oh, I hit a wall. Oh god, I hit a wall. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to a game I have been very excited about over the last couple of weeks. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it, and luckily for me, the guys over at Midgar Studios over in Paris were very nice and very kind, and actually allowed me to play a very early alpha version of the game. Uh, it's currently being kickstarted, and this is called Hover, Revolt of Gamers, and you might feel already that this is very reminiscent of games like Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future, which is, I've actually played both of those games in, in their entirety on my channel before and this game is very very cool It's kind of got like this really nice sort of cartoony HD style about it and some things are textured some things are like you know matte colors and neons and everything and Basically this game is kind of like an open-world futuristic runner So it's basically parkour It's inspired by games like Jet Set Radio as I said and like Mirror's Edge as well It's kind of got that vibe because you can go first person with all of this which is really really cool and they have already said that uh, uh, Oculus Rift support is going to be a thing, but um, that's going to, I don't know how, how much that will disorientate me, and I'm already on the run from the cops, so there's these little things that run around you, uh, called Secu Boxes, and they're basically like little flying robot boxes that are going to try and imprison you, and they throw grenades at you, which basically immobilize, uh, immobilize you for a moment, and if they do catch you, then you they throw you into these little containers up here, let me very quickly show you where they are, and how to get out of them is actually quite interesting, we'll come across that feature in a little while, but it's those little tubes just there. I think there's actually somebody caught in one. <laughs> I think the other alternative player is actually inside of there because at the moment you can play either as Watabax, which is the character I am, or you can also play as Greendy as well uh, who's this kind of like punk rocky punk chick kind of girl and she's got a nice little sort of tennis skirt on as well which is quite good. So I'm going to stick with her for a while actually because I kind of prefer her gloves. They're quite cool. And we're going to go do our first mission um, and basically the controls for this are pretty simple. It's W, A, S, and D to move around. If you hold shift you notice that this middle number goes up and up and up and up and up the longer I do that the bigger the jump is after it which is really really cool and also there's this little feature as well where when you land from a jump if I do it properly and I land, I actually get this kind of like nice little thud, which is really, really cool. And that basically allows me to jump back up and I can continue to do combos off of that because there are basically kind of like a mixture of missions in this. The first one we're going to do is a follow mission and then there are also ones like score X amount of points in certain amounts of time. And because they've actually reached certain uh, Kickstarter goals with this, we've reached many, many a stretch goal, uh, there is actually going to be a graffiti mode inside of this, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, not only can there are there going to be graffiti tricks where you can like grind on a wall like this and then press a certain key to graffiti there are also going to be ones where you actually have to tag things much like jet set radio so here she is here's a, a clone of green d <laughs> i'm going to hover over her and we're going to start a mission so we've got to follow her around and she's basically going to take us around some parts of the city now this is a very limited space of the city currently um so basically obviously don't take this as it is this is again really early alpha and like the city i think they've actually reached a stretch goal to expand the city twofold which is going to be massive. Uh, it's going to be absolutely huge by the time this game actually comes out. Oh, there you go. Up you go. And on the topic of Jet Set Radio, actually, um, the guy that made the track uh, soundtrack for Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future, uh, Hideki Naginuma, he is actually involved with this project and he's going to be soundtracking this game. So that makes me like 20 times more excited. The soundtrack for those games, I absolutely love. They had them imported from Japan. Massive fan of them. I know she's going to go up here, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, and yeah, I can't explain how excited I am for this game. It kickstarted itself for about thirty thousand pounds or dollars and they've already reached three times that i think they're on about 90 to 100 thousand and obviously the larger the sum is the bigger the game is going to be and how much more epic the game is going to be there is going to be a multiplayer mode i believe currently the multiplayer mode is only local multiplayer i could be wrong about that and there is also um the soundtrack to obviously to speak about and there are going to be numerous characters as well so the more we raise and the more we fund uh, the more characters are actually going to unlock and you can actually get two of the characters as Kickstarter rewards, which is quite cool. So she wants me to bring back this console. So what we can do is we can jump down to this console here. There it is. And if I just quickly hold uh, that, there you go. I don't have to hold a button. I just have to focus on it. And now to get back up there in time, I basically have to hold R, which reverses time. So there you go. So basically, if I were to get myself caught in one of these things, so when you get caught by the secu boxes, they pop you inside these little things. Uh, and they basically it starts your reverse animation from that point there. You can reverse quite a way you can reverse quite a lot it's really more so so you don't balls up a jump if you do manage to balls one up um, it's kind of there as like a safety net so you can go back and do it although interestingly where it does reverse the time for you it doesn't actually reverse the time around the place
race. So in a second, we'll see that we're going to go and do a race with Green D. Uh, if I can get away from this bloody cop. Oh, there we go. Up we are. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to get away as best I can, and I've hit a pole. I think I made it. I think I got away. Good, good. The noises are very loud at the moment. It does feel quite empty without a soundtrack, but as soon as that soundtrack comes in, it's going to be so, so, so good. It's going to be awesome. Right, there we are. Now, the one thing that I find interesting about this at the moment is the grit, is, is the hood. I think the hood works well in first person. It's quite big. I think it could be reduced just a tiny bit, but on the Oculus Rift, it really will need to be that size for you actually to be able to see it. Um, but yes, that's the thing. So let's do this mission here. So we're going to race Green D back up to where we actually just came from. So I basically got to try and get up to there. See the finish line? So I'm going to try and get myself up there before she does. There we are. I've got a sort of a set route of how I like to do this. It doesn't always work, but it it works okay sometimes. <laughs> the one of the things that I've noticed is that it, you have to sort of learn when you can and can't, much like there, when I can and can't actually jump up a wall, as in like head on. So like you'll notice there, I'm pushing away from the wall, um, whereas a lot of times you can actually uh, go up to a wall, and I've already balls that up royally, uh, and you can actually just like climb straight up it. So if you're high enough up it, you'll actually just pull yourself up the ledge, which will be... Um, which would be a lot more handy to you. I'm basically going to let her finish that. She's pretty close already. She's going to beat me to it. But anyway, whilst we're going around, I can show you... What else can I show you? There's all sorts of stuff in this city. It's really, really cool. It's really interesting as well, kind of the design of it. It's kind of got this futuristic vibe, but then they have these kind of like random sort of like Persian cloth kind of like throws on everything. It's really, really weird and interesting. I really like it. And the story mode as well is non-linear. That's something to point out. So they're going to be missions. You can do them in whatever order you'd like. I believe in the tutorial, or at least in this alpha demo so far there is the follow which we've already done there's the race which we're going to try and do in a second uh, you can also grind that's something i didn't point out there you go and uh, that's actually really good for racking up points there is one challenge where you have to get points uh, i think it's ten thousand in the space of a minute so i'll have to make sure that i uh that i succeed in that one. Oh god let's get past this cop it's on my tail i don't think i can stop Oh dear. The thing is, the cops can actually interrupt you whilst you're doing missions as well. That's that's one thing I've had happen to me a few times. It is kind of infuriating, but at the same time, it does kind of add that realism. It's not like whilst you're doing a mission, you're suddenly invulnerable to, you know, the environment. Uh, there isn't a health bar, which I really, really love. You can fall as far as you want, as hard as you want, and as fast as you want, and you're not going to, you know, be penalised for that really at all. Uh, other than, you know, maybe having a really harsh landing and not actually getting anywhere quick enough. Oh, bloody hell. I snuck through the middle of that little cap there. All right, big store up no it's not gonna happen oh no all right up we get onto this platform then and if i go up onto this one actually i might be able to go to no oh <laughs> no okay i'm gonna have to work out how to clamber around this so if i go up this part here you would think that being in third person would actually be easier to play this game but i've actually personally found that playing in third uh, third person is actually more difficult um so just a tip when you actually get your hands on this or whatever time big jump now this is the part i always struggle with i have to sort of go up the wall no i don't it. That's the thing, because I can't climb directly up it, I have to sort of go around it. And it looks like she's having the same problems. Ah, balls. She beat me to it. So close. So, so close. Absolutely gutted. Right. Let's go back to the mission, then we'll try this one again. <laughs> she's just going to keep defeating me. There is the points mission, which I believe is, yeah, just there. So it looks like you don't have to do them in any particular order. Like I said, it's non-linear, not only for the missions, but also for the story as well. You can sort of progress through this game when it actually comes out in any way that you see fit, which is really cool. So if I go for this points one, so she basically wants me to score, I think it's 2,000 points in 30 seconds. So if I just keep doing this, this one's actually the more simple way of doing it. Each time you do a different combo in the end, no, 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 no I'm going to get interrupted. No, the cops are going to get me. Oh, God, I need to get out of here, like, really quickly, as well as trying to score points. Uh... There you go. There you go. Can I not score the points in time? No, I didn't manage it in time. Balls. If the cops hadn't got me there, I wouldn't have panicked. <laughs> Let's try this race again. Are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. All right, okay. No, 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 no I just they got away from you. Oh, God damn it. There we are. Let's play in third person, just so you can see the difference in style. You can't actually zoom out all that far. And one thing as well that I thought uh, is definitely worth mentioning is that there isn't a sprint button. You just pick up momentum over time. Uh, I know some games do prefer to have a sprint button, and I kind of feel like I want one as well. Uh, but actually holding shift, like I said, does this sort of like the slide that you have here. Uh, but you very, very quickly pick up momentum, and you can just keep ramping it up as well uh, as you go along. Right, back to first person. I find it so weird being in third person. I'm not, I'm not used to it. Uh, let's see. 
see. So if I go up that and press upwards, yeah, see that time, it actually sent me up directly uh, up the front of it. Now, one thing I haven't shown you yet, actually, is that when you actually reverse time, when you've got uh, the police officers after you, it makes their sirens go really funny. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional. I think it sounds pretty cool, personally. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right, as long as you don't get caught by the cops, we've got this one. You ready for this? And hold that. Jump. Nice. Let's hold that grind. Nice. There you go, good. Oh, 500's not too bad, I guess. And there you go, let's just keep doing this. And another bonus point in there, yep, good. Go on, got this. Don't get me, cops. Oh, come on, I was like 98 off. I don't believe it. 98 off, that's a nightmare. Oh, up oh, we go. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully the cops don't bloody get us. I've tried this about four times now. <laughs> it's just not happening for me at all. All right, up we go. It's good, it's good. All right, nice. I was on the rail for about half a second there. I'll take it. Good, good, nice, nice. Okay, that looks like a lot of points. Yes, come on, just a few more points. Don't smash it, yes, smash 2,000. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so there we go, that's that mission. We now have another mission with her to uh, to get 10,000 points, which I really don't see happening, but that's fine. Uh, so very quickly before we wrap this video up today then, let's talk about some of the stretch goals. There are a couple of that have just been added recently, and we're coming up very, very quickly on the $100,000 mark, which will actually allow us to get a Wii U version, and also local multiplayer game modes, which will be really, really fun to play with your friends. Uh, after that, we've got the goals at $125,000. is actually going to be a swing hook, which from what I can see from the image, Images, works much like uh, Spider-Man's, you know, little string web shoot that he does. <laughs> it looks really awesome. And then we also have the hoverboard as well. That's in the same stretch goal. And then after that, there's the big one, which is the one I really, really hope we can reach. Hopefully, if enough of you actually, you know, back the game, we might actually be able to make it a reality. And that is $150,000. We can get two editable characters, which basically means we can get a guy and a girl. We can edit them up. We can do character customization how we please. And we can actually play as somebody that we'd like to see in our own image which I think it would be really really fun to do um, because that's one thing that Jet Set Radio never had you only ever had set characters you started with beat and you sort of went from there didn't you or was it yo-yo you started with it was one or the other wasn't it <laughs> it was one of those two